What is going on YouTube? My name is Andy Gabs and I want to be the first one to welcome you to AnimalCon 2023. I got here this morning at about 10 a.m. Uh, it's now 4.30 p.m. So we've been over in the convention center setting up pretty much all day now. Went and hung out with Brian for a little bit. Got all the tables, booths, the big banners, got all that stuff set up. Now, I'm about to head down to the pool and go get some food, see if we can run anyone, and I will give you guys a sneak peek into what AnimalCon looks like before everyone gets in. Well, okay, now, so filming. now we're filming. Now we're filming. So what is now it that we're filming. talking about? Uh, I was gonna say that I just got a beverage. Okay. And we're gonna walk over to the convention center after I take a dip in the jacuzzi for just a minute. Great, there you go, there All you have right. it. That's it, ending right. the video right now. All right, y'all, we're gonna head into the convention center and I'm gonna try to give you guys a look of what everything looks like before the madness happens tomorrow. Tomorrow is industry day. Tomorrow is kind of when all the creators can just come in, meet with all of the different vendors, get to know each other a little bit better. But I wanna give you guys a look at what it looks like before we get to that. And I will show you guys everything there is to see. This is the first room and you guys will probably see a lot of this if you're gonna watch all of the Animal Con videos because this is the green room or kind of like the room that the creators have just to come in, get away from the crowds, hang out, get some snacks, get some drinks with the awesome ZooMed background. ZooMed is one of the big sponsors for this event. Now let's walk into the main hall that has the big stage where all of the big creators will be having their panels. This is kind of the main area. This is where all of the vendors are gonna be set up. As you can see, ZooMed probably has the biggest booth here. They're just working on unpacking at the moment. Tons of cool stuff. I actually need to pick up one of these shirts before I leave. Maybe I'll just steal this one. Is it an extra large? No, that's a small and a small. So those won't work. I did think I was done working, but it looks like there's a lot of people here still setting up, so I might have to help set up a little bit more. But one of the things that I wanted to show you guys is where the scape off is gonna be held because I will be partaking in the scape off on Saturday. I'll be competing right there on Saturday to try to win a scape off. I have some really tough competition. Serpa Designs is one of the competitors in that, so pretty sure I can already take my L, but I'm gonna do my best and see if I can win. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. This whole entire room over there is where the vendors are gonna be set up. And then on the other side of these black curtains, here is where the main panel stage is. All of that right there is the main panel stage. That's gonna be super cool. I'll probably come in here and watch some of the bigger panels. Right now, it is kind of just craziness with everyone unpacking and getting all of their booths ready. So I hope you enjoyed that at least little sneak peek. I actually just heard a Bird? Bird, bird, well, a bird is a word. Did I hear, did you hear that? Did you hear the bird? I did. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Is this bird tricks? Uh, could be. I don't want to just walk in their trailer. You guys unloading? All right, give me one second, I'll be right back. Okay, so it is actually bird tricks and they're unloading right now, but unfortunately they have to move. So we're gonna try to get all of their stuff unloaded before security makes that move. So I will have to bring you guys back in a second. I apologize for that. That RoboCop guy was uh, all up in bird tricks business. So unfortunately, I couldn't show you guys the birds uh, tonight. They're gonna bring them into the show tomorrow or Saturday. So we will eventually see. There's Mr. Robbie Kezzy getting all of his stuff unloaded. I'm sure we will talk to him tomorrow. Now I'm finally about to head out to the jacuzzi and I will bring you guys back shortly. Is it recording? All right guys, so she, um... this is uh, Kinsey Monkey, or Kinsey Monkeys, and this little guy is crawling, or little girl rather, is just deciding to crawl all over me. This is very cool. I'm just trying to get her situated with one of her um, her booth situations. And uh, this is, these are capuchins? Capuchin. These are capuchin monkeys. Absolutely adorable. Uh, a second ago she was trying to clean my hair and now she's just kind of running all over and doing her own thing. <laughs> <laughs> You're so rotten. Come on. As we discussed, this is one of the little capuchin monkeys. I'm gonna see if I can. Come here, sweetie pie. Come here. You can do it. You can do it. Big jump. Oh, hey. You wanna go to him instead? Mm. What do you think, man? <laughs> Super cool. Honestly. Absolutely. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Listen. Hey. Listen, you can't go all the way up there, you crazy lady. You can't do that. So if you were wondering why you should come to Animal Con in 2023, uh, if that's not a good enough reason for you, I'm not sure what is. That so unfortunately, I haven't been able to make it anywhere because every time I try to leave, someone walks up to me and asks me where their booth is. Uh, you know, I'm not that guy. You're not that guy, pal, trust me. You're not that guy. But evidently, I am that well, guy. That guy today. Um, <laughs> but Robbie is bringing his stuff, Robbie Kezzy is bringing his stuff out, and he's got some really cool artifacts. But what I'm looking at right now, Amethyst Crack Geode with a Calcite Inclusion, that you can see right there. And I don't know if you guys can tell like size wise, I got some pretty decent sized hands. This weighs about 180 pounds. This one weighs about 120 pounds that yeah, we said. About, that. about 120 pounds. 
And they have a really cool one right there. It looks kind of like a butterfly or an angel wing. Go. Okay, there you go. That's it next to a dollar bill just for some size comparison. So I'm looking to take something cool home with me for the man cave downstairs, which you guys haven't even seen yet, but I will show you guys that at some point. Dude, you need one of each because you put those in your doorway and that promotes money coming into your house. Money coming into my house. I I'm mean, your wallet. This. Leaving your wallet and, and coming, coming into, into your, your house. house. I mean, it doesn't sound like a bad plan when they say it like that. So we'll have to see. I'm gonna pick up something for sure for the basement downstairs. Um, more than likely from Robbie himself. So we'll see what I pick and I'll show you guys before the end of the weekend. So the dummy that was recording this for me unfortunately never turned on my microphone and I've lost my voice by now. I definitely don't recommend you guys do this, but if I jumped off the very top of the waterfall into the water, please don't tell on me guys. Uh, that's all I have for the video. Sorry I didn't record more. I love you guys. Bye.